What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the video. I just bought Nexus 3 this morning and I'm gonna be making a beat for the first time. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very excited to open it up, see what sounds they got. Nexus 3 used to be the GOAT plugin, the go-to plugin for every producer. It was like the Omnisphere before Omnisphere became Omnisphere. Everyone was using Nexus until it got a bit old and everyone shifted to Omnisphere. Back in the day, I used to use Nexus a lot, but I got a bit bored of it and I was one of those producers that shifted over to Omnisphere. But recently they just released the new version, Nexus 3. It looks sick. I just installed it, like literally just installed it. I'm gonna open it up, check it out, and see if it was worth the $250 that I just spent. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. Ocean Gang go drown. All right, so I got Logic Pro X open. Let's open up Nexus. Ooh, you know you're a music production nerd when you get excited about new plugins and sounds. All right, so we got it open now. This looks a bit different to the previous version. The other one was more like a controller. This one reminds me of like a like loop cloud where you just pick through your sounds really quick. The sounds sound so good. They sound really simple. I want to go for the grand piano. I used to really like the grand pianos in here. And then let's pencil in something really quickly. I want to raise the BPM to something kind of fast like 145 and let's start with like some bass notes in a chord. Extend some of these notes as well. I want the notes to last a bit longer. gonna do now is duplicate that Nexus sound and drag down my chords but I want to change the sound to something else in Nexus so let me just open it up and see what I can find like that I'm gonna take away all these top notes in this one some of that low and also the high so it's just in the mids and then for the first sound that first piano sound I was using I'm gonna EQ that as well raise the highs a bit and then take out some of that low as well I like the sounds and the chords that we got done so far I want to add like a counter melody or something to go on top of this so I'm gonna duplicate that again and find another sound in Nexus that I can use I feel like a bell could go on there. Not that many bell sounds. Let's try plucked. There used to be one that I used all the, that's it, poppy bells. I used to use this one all the time. I feel like this sound, if Nexus takes off like Omnisphere, poppy bells is gonna be like the new in memoriam that everyone uses. Repeat that over. If 
fact, I'm going to delete all this section right here and then control this one, command R that to repeat it. Something simple like that, might even pan it to the right just slightly, turn it down. You know what, before I even start my drums, I'm thinking maybe it's just to add one more thing. Everything sounds full already, but I kind of just want to hear like what else they got in here. There's so many different sounds, there's like, it says 1,000, 1,000 sounds in here. Let me go ahead and record that in. Nice and simple like that. I think I'm gonna pan this one like far to the left. And I literally just want like the high ends in this. There's literally too much to choose from in Nexus, I swear. Like I'm tempted to just add in like another five melodies because there's so much sounds. Let's go ahead now and add some drums on top of this. Bang, I got it straight away. I'm going to control everything, quantize it, shift backslash to the force legato, shift option down, maybe let's do that one more time. And then let's add in some overdrive so this 808 really smacks. Turn on the tone a bit. All right, that sounds good. I'm gonna add a kick. I'm gonna use one from my Nomad kit. I want should work. Let me check that in. Nice and simple like that. Check that side in as well. Control that and then repeat that over. And then I'm gonna switch the, the note length to 164 and do like some fast rolls. Drop the velocity a bit. This is like one of my favorite open hats, Humboldt. I have no idea why I named it Humboldt, that's so random. In fact, let's just have it at the beginning like that. And then I'm gonna duplicate that, open up Ultra V, record the default again, and then open up Just like that, Command R, Command J to join it up. Maybe I just add a snare on top of this so when I rearrange it out, I'm gonna have some more variation. It's a bit loud so I'm gonna turn it down. Just to layer it with the, that rim shot that I had before. Let's drag that in, Command R. And then I'm just gonna EQ it as well. I just want to EQ it slightly, just take out a bit of the low end on that snare. So it's a little 
layered nice with the rim. That's it for the beat right there. I am gonna go ahead and rearrange it into a full one. All right, so as usual, control everything and repeat it over so we can just delete stuff in the beat. For the beginning, the first part, let's just, let's just have the main piano and a second piano will come in. Then for the beginning, gonna get rid of the kick and the main snare. And even this last perk here. And then here we're gonna have everything. And then after the chorus, we can get rid of the kick once again. Snare, but I want to take out the kick and let's get rid of this melody there. And that melody. You know what, let me join that melody up. I'm going to control everything, move it down an octave. I like that, sounds good. I'm going to delete an open hat here, one there as well, because I don't want it to repeat too much. Keep the kick in. And then here we'll delete the kick again. We'll keep it simple like that. After that, I'm just gonna repeat what we had in the intro here for like the break. and simple like that. Then after the break, it's just gonna loop right back to the beginning, to the chorus. Nice and simple, it's just like a, like a modern trap beat. I can hear like, I don't know, like a little Uzi vert or something like that. Just a nice synthy trap beat. So we repeat that over, then I'll just repeat the chorus by holding down option. And then at the end, we'll just repeat the, two melodies, the two chords, and that is it for the beat. And yeah, just cooked up a five beat using Nexus 3. In my opinion, is Nexus 3 worth it? For me personally, I think it's worth it. I really like the synthy sounds. I really like making these kind of like, I don't know what to call it, like modern trap beats. Not always like the real sounds, like sometimes I use feel harmonic for like orchestral sounds, but for more of like the synthy things, for 250, I think it's worth it. But if this is not really your kind of vibe, you want to use more like real instruments and stuff like that, maybe like Omnisphere, feel harmonic, contacts is the better way to go. And maybe it won't be worth your 250. But for me, I'm going to cook up so much, so much samples and melodies using this plugin. This is a good investment for me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up right now and subscribe if you're watching and you haven't done so already. Join the family. Let's get to 100K. I feel like I keep saying this in every video, but we're, we're close. We're just so close and we really need your help to hit that 100K. So subscribe right now. Join the family. That's about it for this video. I'll see you in the future.